Hello, I'm Paul Andrews, and in this video we're going to look at Wonderwall by the band Oasis. Now, Wonderwall was released in October 1995 and can be found on Oasis' album What's the Story, Morning Glory. Now, when it comes to playing this song, we're going to need a capo on fret 2. Try and position it close to the metal. Make sure as you put your capo on, you're not bending the strings as you do so. Make sure your strings are where they should be and just clamp them straight down. This is not a, mad, a bad one. You only have a few chords to do, and you can keep your third and fourth finger rooted throughout all your chords. So as you're moving around, you're only moving your first and second finger. The tricky thing is the right hand. The strum pattern is quite hard. It's based on 16th notes. Um, it's even some we're going to miss and just focus on some ups. Um, so it's a bit tough. We're going to really break it down though. Uh, stick with it, you'll get it. But um, yeah, it's going to take a little while for a beginner to really crack this song. So left hand, not a problem. It's the right hand that's going to be a bit more tricky. So let's dive in, take a little chords. We're going to break down the different sections of the song. Um, but firstly, let's look at the chords. First chord we're going to look at is E minor 7. So we take our first finger and put it on the A string 2nd fret. Our second finger on the D string 2nd fret. Third finger on the B string 3rd fret. And pinky on the high E 3rd fret. And obviously when I'm saying these fret numbers, these are in relation to the capo. Capo is now fret 0, so we've got 1, 2 and 3. So what I'm calling 3rd fret without the capo would also be fret 5. So watch out for that, I'm counting from the capo. So here's our E minor 7 chord one more time. First finger A2, second finger D2, third finger B3, and then high E, we've got our finger on there at third fret. So pinky on that high E fret three. And there's our E minor 7, we're gonna play all six strings. Next chord we want is G chord. Now you can keep your third and fourth finger down. You're just gonna take your second finger off and put it on the E string fret three. And there's the G chord. Next chord, we're going to do D sus4. Again, we keep third and fourth finger down. First finger just comes on the G string, fret two. And that's from the D string down. So only four strings strong for that one. Next chord we have is the A7 sus4. We're going to take that first finger, lift it up to the D string, fret two, and strum from the A string down, so five strings. Now, there are the four main chords for the intro and the verse. Next chord we have is a C add 9, which is like our G chord. You're just going to drop your first and second fingers down. So your first finger is on the D string fret 2, and your second finger is on the A string fret 3. And that is from the A string down, so you're doing five strings. So there's your C add 9. Now next two chords just pop up uh, once in the actual song. So we've got a D slash F sharp. And to do a D slash F sharp, we're going to keep our third finger on the B string. You can keep your little finger down as well, actually. And we're going to put our first finger on the E string, fret 2, so low E, 6th string. And our second finger on the G string, fret 2. And we're going to strum that all down, but try and miss out that top E string. You can keep the little finger there. We, we want to mute it, so you can just leave, relieve the pressure, so you're not hitting it. So we get that. And then the last one is E minor 11, so we're going to hit third and fourth finger again. We're going to have both of those down and just strum all six strings with the open E, A, D, and G. And here we go, there are the chords. One all, so we've got the E minor 7, all six strings. We've got the G, all six strings. The D sus4, first finger on the G2. And that's from the D string down, so only four strings. Then we can say our first finger lifted up for the A7 sus4. So a string down now, so five strings. C add nine, think of your G but drop down. First finger on the D2, third finger on the A3, and that's five strings, so down from your A string. Then the chords just pop up once. Uh, we've got the D slash F sharp. So you can see third and fourth fingers stay down. First finger on the E2, second finger on the G2. And then we're gonna do E minor 11, third and fourth finger again, remaining down off with the rest. So you have the open E, A, D and G strings. All six strings for that one. And there we go, there are the chords for Wonderwall. Okay, so the intro, we start off our E minor seven chord. Then we go to the G chord. Then a D sus four. Then the A seven sus four. So the first goal is just to start transitioning between those chord shapes. Make sure you're nice and happy. Just moving around those four. Try to keep your third and fourth finger down, anchored. Very easy for those to come off as the other ones are moving, so really be careful to keep those down. Just moving one and two. 
make sure you get nice and smooth. And you can play the song just like this. It's so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So E minor one, two, G, three, four, D sus four, two, then A sus four. And that's it. So you're doing two chords in each bar. And just go around that progression four times. So E minor G, D sus four, A seven sus four, four times around. And you could just do that. The actual rhythm though, so let's break it down. We're gonna start with E minor seven, and we're gonna go down, 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 up. One and two and up. Down, 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 up. So that's the first two beats. Now as you come into beat three, you're gonna go down again, but on the up, you're gonna change to G. So, you, so, so far, we have one and two and a three E. And it's a three E, when we're coming up, that we change the G chord. So E minus seven again, one and two and a three E. And then you go down again for your and on the G. So one and two and a three E and. And just finish that bar, four and a. So down, down, up. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. For the counting, one and two and a three E and four and a. So that's the first bar of the E minor seven and G. So a little more speed. One and two and a three E and four and a. One and two and a three E and four and a. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Up. Okay, next bar we're going to our D sus4. So that first thing goes on the G2. We're going to start with a 1 E and 2 and and the uh we're going to change to our A7 sus4. So the D, 1, now oh, sorry, 1 E and 2 and uh. 1 E and 2 and uh. So you have this down up, oh, Mr. Strings. Down up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, 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 up. Then we're going to go up, up, down, up, down, up. So on the A, because we're changing on the up, we go up, 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 down, up, down, up. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. So the actual rhythm looks a bit scary because we're tying into the third beat. We're missing the one, playing the E, which is the up. Missing the and, coming up for the uh, and then four e and uh. So you have this uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh. So hold that bar. We have the D seven, or sorry, the D sus four. We have one e and two and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and uh. one e and two. Directions down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. We want speed down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. So both those bars together one and two and a three, E and four and a one, E and two and a three, E and a four, E and a one. And those two bars just go around four times, and there we have the intro. Okay, so the first verse starts exactly like the intro. E minor, seven, G, D sus four, and A seven sus four for three loops. So three times around those two bars. On the fourth time around, we then go to a C add nine, and a D sus four for one bar, 
and then an a7 sus4 for one bar. So cn9 d sus4 asks it's a split bar, so you have two chords in that bar, and then the a7 sus4 is in a bar by itself. So cn9, here's the strum pattern. We're gonna go one and two e and uh. So we change the d sus4 on the up or the uh. So it's one and two e and uh. Then we go up, down, up, down to finish that third beat. So it's one and two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four and uh, just to play to the end of that bar. So it's C add nine one and two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four and a uh. down 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 up down up up down up down down up. One more time. Down down. Next bar of A7 sus4, you just move up your first finger, and we're gonna go one E and two, and a three E and a four E and a one E and two, and a three E and a four E and a. So directions, that is down, up, down, 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 up, miss, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now both bars together sound like this. C add nine. One and two E and a three E and a four and a one E and two and a three E and a four E and a. Directions. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Move up to speed. One and two E and a three E and a four and a one E and two and a three E and a four E and a. And here we go. That is verse one. Three times around your E minor seven G D sus four A seven sus four, and C add nine D sus four for a bar, and then A seven sus four by itself for a whole bar. Now verse two is very similar. We're going to do E minor seven G D sus four and A seven sus four, but we're not going to do the C add nine. D sus4, A7 sus4 in the end. So it's just four times around. E minor 7, G, D sus4, and A7 sus4. So it's just like the intro, four times around that chord progression. That's it for the second verse. And then third verse is the same as the second verse. Just four times around those chords. So it's really only the first verse you've got to watch out for because you've got that C9, D7 sus4, and A7 sus4 in there. Just between verse one and two, basically. Just breaks up those two verses. And there we go, they are the verses. Okay, so the pre-chorus, we're going to do the same strum pattern as the intro and the verse. We're just obviously going to change the order of the chords a wee bit. So we have C add 9 and D. Now you can do a D or D sus4. I'm just going to do D sus4 so you can keep third and fourth finger down. It doesn't really make much difference, but he does do a, a D. We can just do D sus4. Uh, so C add 9, D sus4, E minus 7 for a whole bar. We go around that uh, twice. The third time we're going to do C add 9, D sus4, and we're going to go G. We're going to do a D slash F sharp. That chord that only appears in this section. E minor 7 and then G. So that last bar of the pre chorus, um, or of the start of the pre chorus, the sixth bar, I should say, is a bit more tricky because you're changing a chord on every beat of the bar. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have an A7 sus4 for the last two bars. So for the strum pattern, so we're going to keep it exactly the same as the intro and the verse. So it will sound like this: C add nine, one and two and a three E and D and E minus seven. We do it again: C add nine, D, E minus seven. C add nine is the third time now. And we're going to go G, D slash F sharp, E minus seven, G. Then A7 sus4, just the same rhythm as before. And that is the pre-chorus. 
Now for the chords, um, well I suppose bar six, the tricky bar, we're going G, D slash F sharp, E minor seven, and G. I'll just do one strum there. We'll see, nice to do one strum, so it gives you a bit more time to manoeuvre. If you want, you could add in some embellishments there, so you go down, down. Uh, what can we do? We go one and a two and a three and a four and a. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So every chord you're going down, down, up. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That's quite nice. But you could just do one strum if you want to because it is a bit tough. So pre chorus, uh, one more time all together. We have the C add nine. One and two and a three E and four and a one E and two. That is the pre-chorus. Okay, so the chorus starts with C add 9. So we have a bar of C add 9, then E minor 7, so it's a split bar, so you've got two chords in one bar. Then G, E minor 7. And that's the chord progression. E, C add 9, E minor 7, G, E minor 7. That's it. And it goes around uh, four times. But on the fourth time, we're going to change the G in E minor 7 a little bit. So we'll talk about that in a second. Before we do that, let's look at the strum pattern for the first uh, three times around. So we have the C add 9. We're going to go 1 and 2 and a 3, E and 4 and a. So in E minor 7, we are changing on the 3, E. So we're going C add 9, 1 and 2 and a 3, E and 4 and a. So it's down, down, down. So you can see that up there after the third beat, we're going to change the E minor 7. It's just a little bit late. So think of it like we're playing on the third beat, or changing on the third beat, but it's just a little bit after it. So it's one, two, three, just after you said three. One, two, three. Yeah. With the actual strumming in there as well, it's one and two and a three. E and four and a. Then we come to the next bar for the G, and we're going to change again on the E. So it's a one E and two and a three E and four and a. So that's second bar. We have this all, well, we're still in the E minor seven for the first strum. So it's one E and two and a three E and four and a. So we do that whole line. Uh, so both bars, we have the C and nine. One and two and a three E and four and a one E and two. Now that goes around three times just like that. The fourth time we're going to do the C add 9 and E minor 7 by the same. So 1 and 2 and a 3 E and 4 and a. Then we're going to the G bar, we do one strum on G out for the first beat, I should say. And the second beat, we're going to go 1 and a. So that was all 1, 2, and a. So you see I'm just coming up on the E minor 7 there. So 1, 2, and a. 1, 2, and a. And then it's going to tie into a bar. So I should actually say that bar there of the G and E minor 7 is a bar of 2, 4. So we have two beats in that bar. So you have the 1, 2, and a. And then we're tying it into the next bar. 
So four beats just ringing out the E minor seven. So we have one, two, and a one, two, three, four. Next bar, we start just with silence. So first two beats of that bar are silent. We have a rest. And then for beats three and four, we're going to do the E minor 11. So fingers one and two off. This is the only place the E minor 11 comes in in the song. And we're just going to play three E and a four E and a three E and a four E and a. So just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Three E and a four E and a. So that whole line sounds like this. We have the one, two, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three E and a four E and a. And then you're going then back to a verse. So that'll be the third verse after that. And there we go, there's the whole of the chorus. So, four times around, C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor seven, but the fourth time around starts with C add nine, E minor seven, and it goes G, 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 E minor seven, tying in, stopping for the next bar, and then three E and a, four E and a, for your E minor 11. So there we go, that is the chorus, or the first chorus. Then when we go into the second chorus, exactly the same, and it goes around four times, but it doesn't do the G E minor seven bit where it lets it hang and then the do go do go do go do go on the E minor eleven. It just does four times around the normal progression. C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor seven. It just does four times around that, and then you go to the outro. Okay, so the outro is just the chorus section. C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor seven, same strum pattern as before. But it goes around 12 times. So just that looping around and around and around. And then um, on the last time round, in the G and E minor seven bar, we're gonna do G, uh, same as before, we've got the one, E and two, but then we're just gonna do E minor seven on the and. So it's a one E and two and one E and two and. So I'll do the last time round. Uh, we go one and two and a three E and four and one E and two and. And that then is the end of the song. So one more time. One and two and a three E and four and one E and two and. And there we go. There is the outro. Okay, so now we got all the sections of the song, let's talk about how it all fits together, so the structure. Now, it starts with intro, we've got four times around that main part. We know that. And then it goes into the first verse, which is three times around that. But then you go into your C add nine. And A7 starts to fall for a whole bar. And then second verse. So that's just kind of that little bit in between, uh, kind of like a bridge, I suppose, that bridges those two verses together. And then we go into the pre-chorus, just C add nine, D, E minor seven bit. Watch out for that quick bar. And two bars of A7 at the end of that section. So, so far we have the intro, verse, second verse, pre-chorus, then we're gonna go into the chorus. Watch out for the end of the second, uh, sorry, the first chorus, because we have that, um, and you let it hold, and you do E minor 11. Go into the third verse. After third verse, you're then back to pre-chorus, chorus, four times around the chorus, and then outro 12 times around your normal um, chorus chords. Then when you go for the outro, when the piano comes in towards the end, it goes four times around with the piano. On that fourth time is when you've got that, when you're ending on that E minor uh, seven, just to end the song. So four times around with the piano, and then you're finishing on that fourth time with the E minor seven. Just one strum. And there we go. So just quickly recap. Intro, verse one, and then verse two, pre-chorus, chorus, verse three, pre-chorus, chorus, then outro. And there we go. There is one duel. So any questions, let me know below. If you haven't already signed up for my Practice Makes Awesome email, head over to practicemakesawesome.email. Every week I send out practice tips, challenges, uh, videos like this one of classic songs, and a practice plan to help you structure your practice throughout the week. 
I found that a lot of students do not start to practice, so don't kind of progress as quickly as they perhaps would like to. And just by doing a few little tweaks to their practice, it makes them much more efficient um, and gets them hitting their goals quicker. So if you'd like to be a member of my Practice Makes Awesome email, go to practicemakesawesome.email and sign up now completely free. And um, yeah, you'll hear from me every week. So if you do have any questions, drop them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video.